students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as you all know, your Comet K 2024 examination is approaching and we have started a series where we are discussing the top 30 questions from all the high weightage topics, right? So in today's video, we'll be discussing the top 30 questions from the chapter D and F block elements, okay? So this is a high weightage topic where you can expect three to four questions from this chapter. And uh, these questions are very much like most of the questions are taken from your previous year questions. So you can attempt them and just check but what is your level of preparedness for this chapter, okay? So if you are able to solve these questions, you can assure that this chapter is ready for the exam, okay? So let us start with the first question. When SO2 is passed through acidified K2Cr2O7 solution, then what happens, okay? So as you know, K2Cr2O7 is a very good oxidizing agent, right? So that when so it will oxidize SO2 to SO uh, it will oxidize this SO2 and as a result of what happens green color Cr2 SO2 is formed in the reaction. Okay, the color the solution is decolorized. This this happens in case of permanganate. Okay, but in K2Cr2O7 a green color solid is formed. So the correct answer for this question is option number D. Next question: the first ionization energies of the elements of the first transition series that is titanium to copper increases as the atomic number increases yes as we know as we go along the period the size keeps on decreasing effective nuclear charge increases that is why the ionization energy will increase right so the correct answer for this question is option number a okay next question lanthanoids and actinoids resemble in so we know they have their 4f orbitals sorry so there is f orbitals n minus 2 f orbitals n minus 1 d and n s electronic configuration right so they resemble in electronic configuration correct answer for this question is option number a next in the chromate dichromate ion cr2 o7 2 minus so if you know the structure here so this is the structure okay sorry cr2 o7 2 minus we have so this is the structure now if you see these these oxygen bonds okay they all are in resonance so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this 6 chromium and oxygen bonds are similar but this oxygen where there is no resonance this chromium and oxygen bonds are different so how many similar bonds or equivalent bonds are there 1 2 3 and here 3 so total 6 so 6 cro bonds are equivalent all CLO, all CRO bonds are equivalent. This is wrong because this bond is different from this one. It is not participating in resonance. It is a pure single bond where these are in between single and double bond. So the correct answer for this question is option number B. Okay, next. Which one of the following ionic species will impart color to an aqueous solution? So for imparting color, we need unpaired electrons, right? So, if you see in T plus 4, the number of electrons is 0. In copper plus, there is no unpaired electron. In Zn2 plus, there is no unpaired electron. Chromium, if you check, chromium electronic configuration is 4s1, 3d5. Now, if you have chromium 3 plus, we will have 3d3, right? So, it is, it is having unpaired electrons. So, that is why it will show color. Correct answer for this question is option number D. Very simple question. Next, the metals of group 12 are softer than other transition metals because. So, if you see here, the in, in case of group 12, there is no D electrons, right? So, if D electrons are not present, then there will be no metallic bonding and as a result of which the intermolecular force will be uh, less and the metals will be softer, okay? So, that is why D electrons do not partake part in the metallic bonding. So, the correct answer for this question is option number D, okay? Next. Which of the following transition metals of 3D series has the lowest melting point? So, if you have seen, um, we have to calculate the lowest melting point. So, graph is like this, chromium and then we have like this, right? So, manganese is the element with lowest melting point. Why? Because it has a stable D5 configuration. So, these electrons are tightly bound to the nucleus and they do not participate in metallic bonding, do not participate in metallic bonding right so reasons also you should know because you may get options or questions with reasoning so d5 electrons manganese has a stable d5 configuration so this d5 because of its stability it is very close to the nucleus and it do not participate in the metallic bonding and as a result of which the melting point is very low okay correct answer is option number d 
नेक्स्ट चूज द करेक्टली पेड गैसियस कैटाइन एंड इट्स मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट ओके सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट वी नो द फॉर्मूला फॉर मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट इज रूट ओवर ऑफ एन इन टू एन प्लस टू राइट सो इफ यू सी इन टाइटेनियम स्कैंडियम टाइटेनियम सो टाइटेनियम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज थ्री डी टू फोर एस टू सो टी आई टू प्लस विल बी थ्री डी टू सो यू जस्ट रिमेम्बर इफ द नंबर ऑफ अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इज टू द मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट विल बी टू पॉइंट समथिंग ओके सो इफ दिस इज टू मीन्स थ्री पॉइंट एट सेवन विल नॉट कम सो दिस आंसर इज रॉन्ग नॉट टेक कॉपर टू प्लस सॉरी क्रोमियम टू प्लस क्रोमियम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज फोर एस वन थ्री डी फाइव सो इफ यू हैव सी आर टू प्लस इट विल बी फोर एस जीरो एंड देन थ्री डी फोर सो इफ फोर अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देर द मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट विल बी फोर पॉइंट एट ओके सो दैट इज वाई द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी फोर पॉइंट एट नाइन सो विच कैन बी राउंडेड ऑफ टू फोर पॉइंट नाइन सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी Okay, next. Gadolinium belongs to 4F series. Its atomic number is 64. Which of the following is the correct electronic configuration of gadolinium? So this is a very important element from your lanthanide series. Uh, so you must remember its electronic configuration. That is 4F7, 5D1, 6S2. Correct answer is option number B. Okay, next. Which of the following is an amphoteric oxide? So for amphoteric oxide, the Uh, oxidation state should be in between very high oxidation state then it will be base uh, acidic very low oxidation state then basic so if you see here cr2o3 the oxidation state of chromium is plus 3 right so this is one amphoteric oxide this is acidic these two are basic okay so please remember examples of acidic amphoteric and basic oxides you must remember okay questions are asked repeatedly from this topic next the metal ion present in insulin okay so the metal ion present in insulin is your zinc 2 plus okay correct answer for this question is option number a next cuprous ion is colorless while cupric ion is colored because so again when colorless and color concept comes you can blindly say that colorless means it should have it should be like either it doesn't have any electron or it doesn't have any unpaired electron okay and when it is colored it will have unpaired electron right so very simple cuprous ion is your Cu plus, which electronic configuration is 3d10. That is why it is a complete d orbital. There is no unpaired electrons, and cupric ion has incomplete d orbital. That is, it has unpaired electron. So the correct answer for this question will be option number D. Okay. Okay. Next, the correct order of ionic red radii of these elements are given. So whenever such question comes where you have to arrange, try to uh, place these elements in the periodic table. Okay. So if you see, first we have y three plus is from fifth period. Okay, in the sixth period you have lanthanum La three plus, and then you have europium. Okay, and then we have lutetium. So now if you see, when we go down the group, the size will increase. So y three plus will be the smallest in size, right? So this one is the answer. This one can be the answer. These two options we can eliminate. Now along the period, what happens? Size keeps on decreasing. Here, so there is lanthanide contraction also. So lutetium three plus will be the least size. So after that, lutetium three plus, then europium, and then lanthanum. So the correct answer for this question is option number B. Okay, next, equivalent mass of K two Cr two O seven in acidic medium is equal to. So if you see Cr two O seven two minus, okay, gets converted to two Cr three plus. Here it is plus six to plus three. So plus six to plus three is three electrons involved, but two chromiums are there. So total electrons involved will be six. So equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass by n factor. So n factor is six. So the correct answer for this question is option number D. Okay, next, which of the following compound on reaction with NaOH and Na2O2 gives yellow color? Okay, so uh, this compound when you treat, uh, you have been given with. Okay, so chromium uh, hydroxide when it is formed, that is a yellow color compound. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is option number C. Okay, next, which of the following shows the maximum number of oxidation states? So as we know, manganese is the element which can shows the maximum number of oxidation state because it has maximum number of unpaired electrons. So the correct answer for this question is option number C. Very theoretical question. In 3D series, as we move from scandium to zinc, the paramagnetism. Okay, 
So this is an interesting question, you know number of unpaired electrons first increases up to uh, manganese and then the number of unpaired electrons keeps on decreasing. So if the number of unpaired electrons keeps on decreasing, the mag uh, paramagnetism will first increase and then decrease, right. If you see from scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, then we have iron, uh, cobalt, nickel, copper and zinc, right. So in scandium, there is one unpaired electron, titanium 2, vanadium 3 this is 5, this is 6, this is again 5 and here in uh, 3D6, so 3D6 has again we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, so we have 4 and then 3, then 2 and then 1, right. So now if you see first the number of unpaired electrons is increasing and then decreasing, so the paramagnetism will also increase and then decrease, right. So the correct answer is first increases to a maximum and then decreases, that is option number C. Next, which one of the following characteristics of the transition metal is associated with their catalytic activity? So there are some special properties of transition elements like catalytic pro uh, property, they have the ability to form interstitial compounds, so you should know the reason for them, okay. So it shows catalytic activity because of its ability to have variable oxidation states. Now again the question arises why they have variable oxidation states, it is because of the less energy difference between the N-1D and NS electrons, right. So the correct answer for this question is option number D. Next, platinum, palladium and iridium are called noble metals because, okay. So they are noble metals because they are inert towards many common reagent, okay. Why they are inert? So because they are, they are having a fully filled orbital, so they are not very less reactive and hence they are called as noble metals. Correct answer is option number D. Very easy one. Next, when chromyl chloride uh, is dissolved in water, okay. So chromyl chloride is dissolved in water, okay, we get chromic acid, okay. So the correct answer for this question is option number A. Next question, question number 21, pick out the wrong reaction, okay. So let us see from the starting, we have Na2CrO4, so CrO4 is getting converted to Cr2O7, right. So this reaction is very common, it is a, is this, this reaction is correct. Now if you see option number C, MnO4 minus is getting converted to Mn2 plus that is plus 7, 2 plus 2 and at the same time Fe2 plus is getting converted to Fe3 plus, oxidation is happening, right. So this reaction is also correct, if and if you check this one, MnO4 plus 7, 2 plus 2, right, this is undergoing reduction, it is oxidizing C2, so this is C2O4, so C2O4 2 minus 2 CO2, right, this reaction is also correct. Now if you check about this reaction, MnO2 to MnO4, right, so and there should be a redox reaction, so we cannot find any redox reaction here. So the correct answer for this question will be option number B, okay. So option number B will be your, the wrong reaction given, okay. Next is, if you check here, like you can see manganese is having here oxidation state of plus 4, right. And it is undergoing oxidation state here of plus 7, right. But there should be one reduction reaction also. So next question is MIC metal. So all of you know it is a very, very important question. MIC metal is an alloy of all the lanthanoids. So correct answer for this question is option number B. And one transition metal which has a major composition here is iron. That also you should remember. Next, when sodium hydroxide, uh, with sodium hydroxide, silver nitrate forms a black precipitate. So that is your silver oxide, okay, Ag2O. Correct answer is option number B. This is used in your, uh, that cinema, uh, that in the reels and all when we, the washing of reels, removing of bromide, so these, in those things, this one is used. So you must know the uses of the silvering of mirror is done by the same, that is your silver oxide, correct answer is option number B. Next, which is a non-lanthanide element, so you know lanthanide series starts from lanthanum, but the first element is not lanthanum, that is cerium, right. So the correct answer for this question is option number A, that is lanthanum. This is very important concept based question, okay. Next, brown catalyst is, so this one you should know, nickel boride is called as your brown catalyst. So the correct answer for this question is option number B. Next, more number of oxidation states are exhibited by actinoids than by lanthanoids. The main reason for this is, so because of less energy difference in the case of uh, Lanth in case of actinoids, more number of electrons can participate in the reaction and they can show a variable oxidation states. So this is because of the lesser energy difference between 5f and 6d orbitals than that between 
4f and 5d orbitals okay correct answer for this question is option number d very easy and fact based questions okay this chapter is highly scoring if you know that basic important uh, general concept about lanthanoids and actinoids then and d and f block this chapter is a like full marks you can easily score in this chapter next a transition elements with atomic number 24 has its magnetic moment okay so atomic number 24 is of chromium right we have the electronic configuration of 4s1 and 3d5 so if you know it has six unpaired electrons so i know i told you if the number of unpaired electrons is six the uh, magnetic moment will start with six point something right so the correct answer for this question will be option number b next in the tetrahedral permanganate ion pi bonding type between the metal and oxygen is so permanganate is mno4 right so now this bonding is between the p orbital of oxygen and the d orbital of manganese so it is a d pi p pi bond so the correct answer is option number b next which of the following pairs has the same size so this is an important consequence of lanthanide contraction many times you have learned zirconium and hafmonium has the same size so without any doubt the correct answer for this question will be option number c okay yeah so these were the top 30 questions from your d and f block elements most of them are your previous year questions so you can just understand so easy questions are asked from this chapter nothing to worry just revise all the trends and important reactions of kmno4 and k2cr2 O7, okay so if you do if you have done with this much then this chapter is almost done and it's a very scoring topic so do not leave this uh, chapter if you have any doubt in any question please comment down i'll be addressing it in my next video okay so if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe our channel and uh, that's all best of luck for your exam keep working hard keep preparing for the exam thank you